one reason I'm actually in the blue band today is when I was growing up in elementary school and middle school, you know, I played the flute for a couple years and I really wasn't crazy about the flute. And my music teacher at the time was like, why don't you try French horn? Why don't you try mellophone? Just threw this out there. She was actually the first female clarinet in the blue band um, back in her day. And, you know, so she pushed me to really try this weird, crazy instrument I wouldn't have picked up anyways. And she actually passed away in my eighth grade year. But just seeing the fact that all of her students, you know, my best friend's a musical theater major and one of my other friends is here for vocal performance. So just seeing all these people that were affected by her so long ago and the fact that we're all still pursuing music today, I think is one of the reasons why I am the way Put up with the crazy lessons and, and the bad notes and you know, it's not gonna be, always be great, but you're never gonna realize that ripple effect you have even years and years down, down the future, I think. I just get my strength knowing how much people have sacrificed for me to be here, my parents and you know my boyfriend, we've been dating for a year for two and a half years now. Um, and we're long distance and that's tough, but you know at the end of the day, having my friends, having my family, having you know the other members of my section, um, I think that's where I get my strength is just getting that energy from other people. <laughs> my motto is make the most of your time here. That is something that you know whether it's me in a class or you know in my ad sales group that I do, you know, we only meet once a week, or here I have so much time, but at the same time, I want to make sure that all the time I'm spending here, I'm investing it as much as I can, because you know, you only get four years here, you only get so much time to get everything in that you want to do. So for me, you know, even if it's just talking to the person on the shuttle every day, just having those 10 minutes, it's making the most of that time in that moment, I think is what really makes me get up in the morning and make sure that I'm still driving. <laughs> make the most of your time here. <laughs> Bye.